हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स योर वन स्टॉप वेयर यू कैन लर्न ऑल दी फास्ट ट्रिक्स विच विल हेल्प यू इन डेवलपिंग टेन टाइम्स फास्टर स्पीड ऑफ कैलकुलेशन एंड बाई सेम टेन टाइम्स आई मीन इट यू हैव बिन वॉचिंग सो मेनी डिफरेंट वीडियोज ऑन द चैनल ऑफ स्क्वायरिंग क्यूबिंग स्क्वायर रूट परसेंटेजेस नो टॉपिक इज लेफ्ट नाउ आई हैव एनदर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो how do you multiply big numbers by a two digit number now that's where most of us are struggling right so you must have already heard about the vertical and crosswise so i am going to mold this method now the vertical and crosswise and put it up in a different manner so that you don't have to write the numbers one below the other and then find the answer so you will find the answer directly so watch the entire video you are going to learn something really useful and if you have not subscribed the channel till now this is your time come on go for it click the subscribe button here and click the bell shaped icon very important that you click that otherwise you will not get the notifications when i upload such useful videos on the channel so do share this link with your friends if you enjoy the video at the end okay let's get started so here we have the first example where i am going to take a two digit number and try to multiply it by another two digit number say 74 times 16 now whenever this number the second number the multiplier starts with a one that means it lies between 11 and 19 okay it can be 11 or 19 also right so then it is very easy how do you do this just consider 6 okay so 4 times 6 i'll write all the steps 4 times 6 And then seven times six, but I need to add something to this. The next number four, and finally the first digit seven. So seven forty-two plus four forty-six, and finally twenty-four. And you you will have your answer. See four two carries over here. This becomes forty-eight. So eight four carried forward. So you have eleven, and eleven eighty-four becomes. the answer for this particular question you can pick up the calculator and check friends now what did i do here actually this is an extension of vertical and crosswise because there is a one here i don't need to multiply by one right that is pretty obvious and that is why i am adding the next digit actually i am adding what 4 times 1 but i told you just add the next digit that's how smartness works and makes things easier for us Let's do one more question like this, and then I'll try to extend this to higher numbers. Okay, let's take a three-digit number here. Maybe I'm taking some random examples. I'm not prepared for this, but I'll do it live. So let's take two hundred and ninety-six, and I need to multiply that by thirteen, right? So just do six times three. That is eighteen. So I'll write. I'll not write the entire steps now. I'll reduce the number of steps. Just do nine times three. That is twenty-seven, and add the next digit. Twenty-seven plus six is thirty-three, and then two times three is six. Add the next digit. Six plus nine is fifteen, and once you have done with all the digits, write this digit as it is. So now start writing eight. One carry thirty-four means four. Three carry eighteen means eight. One carry three, and you have your answer three eight. For it, very easy, right? And I think you can take big numbers here and multiply it by any number from eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen up to nineteen, and you will get your answer for this particular type of question. One more question, and then probably numbers in twenties and thirties and even seventies and eighties, you are going to crack it. So keep watching the entire video, okay? Let's see. Let's take a big number this time and test ourselves. So. For taking a bit big number, I'm taking some random numbers, say three, four, five, six, seven, and I need to multiply that by. I'll take thirteen and sixteen is already done. How about taking twelve um, uh, or fifteen or sixteen? Okay, let's take sixteen already. We have taken. Let's take seventeen. Oh, it's a challenge, right? But I'll come through. See, seven times seven is forty-nine. So I'll write a forty-nine here. Six times seven is forty-two plus seven is forty-nine. So another forty-nine. Five times seven is thirty-five. 
plus 6 is 41. So 41. 4 times 7 is 28 plus 5 is 33. So a 33. 3 times 7 is 21 plus 4, 25. And finally, the first digit 3. So I have written all the numbers. See, how many numbers should be there? 5 digits. So 6 numbers. Right? So that you don't miss out on anything. And now start. 9, 4 carried, 53 means 3, 5 carried, 46 means 6, 4 carried, 37 means 7, 3 carried, 28 means 8, 2 carried, 5. There we have the answer. 5, 8, 7, 6, 3, 9. Okay. Let's ensure that you are feeling comfortable with this method first. So I hope you have understood what am, am I doing here. You can take a screenshot if you want and you can practice this first before we get into our next part. So wow, I really enjoy this. You know what? Everyone multiplication makes you feel like a champion, <laughs> right? So let's have some bigger examples now. Now I want to take up a number like 74 again. I need to multiply that by 26 now. Now watch out. This is something which is which hasn't been done on YouTube. They all will tell you vertically and crosswise in the traditional manner in which it is taught. This is untraditional way of uh, doing the vertical and crosswise only, but quicker than vertically and crosswise. Obviously, little effort and practice is required. Mathematics doesn't exist without practice. Okay, so don't watch. Do okay. Let's see this one. So what am I going to do the first time? So 4 times 6, right? You want me to write the steps? I, I can do that. 4 times 6, 24. That's pretty easy. And the middle step is really important because here we have 2 digits. So you will have 3 numbers here. So middle step is really important. So what are we going to do here? Here is multiply 7 by 6. You get 7, 6 are 42, right? Now since we have a 2 here, you need to add double of this to 7, 6, 42. So 42 plus 8 is 50. And so I'll write a 50 here. And finally, the first digit 7, you have to double this also because you have a 2 here. So doubling. So this will become 14. And now watch the magic. 4, 2 carat. So 52 means 2. 5 carat. So 19. And 1, 9, 2, 4 becomes the product of 74 and 26. Isn't that amazing? Let's let's extrapolate this to a three digit number. So let's take 673 and multiply it by 24. So I'm taking two again so that you know you get used to the method and then apply it for 30s, 40s, 50s, 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever. Okay? So let's see. What did I do here? 4 times 6, right? So 3 times 4 is 12 7 times 4 is 28 and double of this is 6 28 plus 6 is 34 then 6 times 4 is 24 and double of 7 is 14 so 24 plus 14 is 38 and finally double of 6 is 12 so we have 4 numbers and these are the 4 numbers I wanted let's start 2 1 carry, 35 means 5, 3 carry, 41 means 1, 4 carry, 16, 1, 6, 1, 5, 2 is the product. Wow, I simply love this. You know, mathematics is amazing. If you start understanding things, the things are not at all going to be difficult. Can I take a 5 digit number and uh, uh, make you feel comfortable with 20s and then some maybe random numbers? Okay. So a five digit number, 76758, 76758 and I am going to test myself by multiplying this number with another 20s, so 20s, 24, 26 and 27, let's take 27. Oh, big challenge, you know, I keep on challenging myself and that's how I improve, that's how you need to do, you know, just challenge yourself, take some big numbers and I'm sure you are going to rock. Okay, 8 times 7. 8 7s are 56. So how many numbers will I write here? 5 digit means 6 numbers, right? So 8 7s are 56. Done. 5 7s are 35. 
and double of 8 is 16. See what am I doing? 5 7s are 35 and 16 is 51. So I will write a 51. Then comes 7. So 7 times 7 is 49 and double of 5 is 10. So 59. Here we get 59. 6 times 7 is 42 and 42 plus 14 is 56 and 7 times 7 is 49 plus 12 is 61 and finally we have the numbers double of 7 which is 14 right so after getting these 6 numbers you know I enjoy it the most so retain the unit digit 6 5 carried 56 means 6 5 carried 64 means 4 6 carried 62 means 2 6 carried 67 means 7 6 carried and 14 plus 6 20 and there you go pick up the calculators friends 2072466 is that the answer which everybody required <laughs> I think you are going to be amazed really really surprised this is beautiful right no vertically and crosswise this is actually vertically and crosswise the base is there but a different way of presenting things different way of interpreting things and if you want to become smarter you need, uh, you need to do the routine things differently right and that's what we are doing in this video let's pick up more challenging questions now how about doing uh, 8 1 7 7 9 look at the number which i'm taking 8 1 7 7 9 and i want to multiply that by 46 this time okay Whew, now this is really going to be challenging 9 times 6 is 54 so the last number is going to be 54 followed by 7 times 6 is 42 and I have to do 9 times this time here we have 4 right so I have to do 4 times this and then add it to the product so 42 plus 36 42 plus 36 is 78 so I have 78. You need to be good with, with your addition skills. Obviously multiplication doesn't happen if you are not good in addition. Again 7 times 6 is 42 and 7 times 4 is 28. So 42 and 28 is 70. Likewise 1 times 6 is 6 and 7 times 4 is 28 again. So 28 plus 6 is 34. So we, here we have 34. Penultimate number, so uh, I think 8. Yeah. 8, 6 times is 48. And 1 times 4 is 4. So 52. 48 plus 4, 52. And finally, 8 times 4, 32. Whew. That was the step which I was expecting. And you know, once I get through this step, more often than not, I'm going to get a correct answer. Let's let's see. So uh, you, you pick up the calculator and I, I will start from here. So 4 plus 5 means 83. So 3 plus 8 means 78. So 8 plus 7 means 41. So 1 plus 4 means 56. So 6 plus 5 means 37. So 37. So 37, 6, 1, 8, 3, 4. Oh my God. That's how the things have to be done, friends. Multiplication of big numbers by two digit numbers simplified for you. One final example and this time a more challenging question. Let's let me take 5, 6, 6, 1, 4, 7 and multiply it by 38. You can even do it by 78, 88, 86, you know, whatever number you want to take here to any two digit number. Okay. So let's challenge ourselves yet again. One more time, final time for this video. 7, 8s are 56. So a 56 at the end, then 4 8s are 32 and 7 3s are, here we have 3 right, so we need to add the triple of the next digit. So 32 plus 21, 32 plus 21, 53, right, keep on checking friends, you need to check simultaneously. Then we have 1 times 8 is 8 and triple of 4 is 12, 12 plus 8, 20. Three numbers already done. The next number 8 times 6 uh, is 48 plus 3, 51. Next number 8 times 6 is 48 plus 18 is 66. 
and then finally 5 times 8 is 40 and 18 58 and then 5 times 3 is 15. So I get all my numbers. I think there are 7 quantities here you can check and now start writing from the unit digit. 6, 5 carry 58 means 8, 5 carry 25 means 5, 2 carry 53 means 3, 5 carry 71 means 1, 7 carry 65 means 5, 6 carry 21. 2, 1, 5, 1, 3, 5, 8, 6. Is that the correct answer? Please check and do let me know in the comments whether this answer is correct or not.